Hello my darling Scorpios! Welcome to your reading. This is for December 18th to the 24th, 17th to the 24th, whenever you want, the following week, <laughs> whenever this is resonating for you. Perhaps it's the title that you clicked on or it's also because you're checking it out. So we're going to get started with the unicorn oracles. I'm going to do several oracles as well as tarot and then I'll be exploring how the person feels towards you in the extended. So shout outs to my amazing, amazing Scorpios, Cupcake Mom, Gatina. Thank you guys so much for all the support always on the lives it means so much to uh, connect with all of you thank you again don't forget to check out sunday nights at 7 30 p.m eastern time you can jump on the live i have some super chats i do the weekly forecast hang out spend some time with your you know, beautiful soul tribe family let's get a few more here for scorpio let's go one more from the unicorns oh this one's coming out nice okay scorpios how you doing? There's a lot of stuff going on. Probably feeling those deep emotions happening because I feel like we got this growth card here. So seek out a mentor or guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. So this can be you. Of course, this can be either, you know, you're the fool in this case. So like, you know, having this growth where you're sort of having this realization. It always says when the student's ready, the mentor appears. Um, maybe you're also going to be in a position where you're helping others too because that's how you're growing. Or perhaps you feel like you're in this new territory here where um, you know your legs are like fresh so you're learning your footing uh, learning where you are um, getting yourself set possibly grounded to here as well spending this time in isolation I feel like there's people watching you though there's like this little peeper over here so I feel like for some of you this person's like you know there's people observing your growth and as they're watching you grow they're also watching like what's gonna happen here so very beautiful energy in a good way not in a creepy way okay rebirth I feel like I said like new legs like you're feeling like a whole new person maybe you went through some major transformations again growth is transformation but kind of blooming into this beautiful energy but reinvent yourself give life to your dreams and create a new reality so I feel like part of the growth is realizing that like you have the power to recreate every single day <laughs> like the next day if you want it to be different than the last then make it you know I feel like for some of you it's activating this blooming energy and that's also coming out with the imagination here so envision a new reality give yourself permission to dream and believe in unlimited possibilities Scorpio look at this it's asking you to dream uh, give give life to your dreams here so really bring this vision and I guess for many of you it's a true blooming here where you're literally creating a new reality and I feel like you're maybe you've learned so much and you're just kind of like you know what scrap that and start over but you can do that now <laughs> is it day one or is it one day so you keep telling yourself that story and however often you want to repeat that is um, bringing this towards you now again a very transformative time and that is your energy so I feel like there's a big shift for you and I feel like as you've been peeling back these layers for however long you've been on this journey you're kind of having this opportunity to recreate and it's a passionate time for you to really evolve into this and I feel like as you do this because I'm seeing the progression you know you're evolving you're growing you're blooming you're becoming and then boom badass unicorn taken off so i feel like a beautiful beautiful energy with that and of course uh yes yeah, speaking of badass unicorns i just want to give a shout out to magic mugs i wanted a badass unicorn and i got one you can get the links below to get 30 percent off i'm gonna have slips and slips here bringing um beautiful energy so uh that's an option too but of course for many of you using your imagination is creating things from your mind into your physical reality so really using this energy is going to help you shift the new life that you are creating scorpio i love it okay let's see what else we're getting romance angels oh my goodness romance angels what messages do we have for my scorpios let me get two more please romance angels for scorpio thank you beautiful Okay, see that one? So we have flirt. Ooh, okay, you guys are putting yourselves out there. I like it. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So this could be something you're growing. A growth also to me just makes me think of like muscles. You know, you're exercising some new muscles here, perhaps some you're never used before or didn't even know you had, okay? So there's a lot of stuff with this rebirth. You're kind of just getting yourself, like I feel like all those things like, you know, when, oh, I never know how to do that. I've never done that. Like my first thing I learned when I was 11 in karate was the word can't doesn't exist. You have to do push-ups. So if you say the word can't or not me or whatever 10 push-ups 
<laughs> challenge. You want a challenge? Let's do this. Uh, it'll get you, it'll get you fit. Whoa, we got wedding. Look at you guys. This situation <laughs> involves marriage. So I feel like for some of you flirt because I feel like this person could be pretty real deal. I feel like this whole new energy, forgiving and learning, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. So major releases here. And this is what's kind of like this healing and this growth and this rebirth is causing this energy to come out. So I feel like whatever had you down, whatever had you feel defeated, it's like you're learning to walk again. That growth process that you went through, that change, that shift. Like I feel like for some of you, you know, maybe it was after something like... It's a new beginning. So to me, death, if I'm thinking of your energy, Scorpio, is something you have to end for something new to start. So it's sort of like you've metaphorically experienced a death or perhaps, you know, you're back. So welcome back. Um, but this rebirth here is kind of like causing you to have a second chance at life and really create this new thing. I mean, we're ever evolving. So you're supposed to consistent, consistently change. But we do have it safe for you to love. Open your heart to receive the highest energy of all. And this is after forgiving and learning and healing. And then this will bring in this beautiful energy because you've cleared this space. But keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations so they could look different sound different i don't know smell different whatever is <laughs> for you different uh, in the sense that maybe you're into tall people and this person's short or you like dark skin and they're light skin however it applies or of course in general to you know you like blue eyes and they have brown eyes or whatever it could be um but we're looking into the <laughs> journey of the love it's one love everywhere guys don't worry about it so there's just something different about this person could be their religious background could be just your dynamic as well but flirting putting yourself out there could lead to a very very serious connection marriage is real you know so for some of you it's like use your imagination if you didn't think it could happen for you learn from your mistakes forgive yourself forgive the past not necessarily we're all guilty you have to take responsibility to some extent here that we've made we've made our share of situations that caused the outcomes that we got to as well okay so let's uh journey of love can i get one more please for Scorpios, can I get one more? Oh, and you know what, I'm gonna get one more because I felt like two and I was saying one, but it was already on its way out before I was, yeah, thank you, thank you. Okay, what do we have? Your first one, clarity, I finally see number 20. So your person could be having this clarity, awakening again, this learning and forgiving is bringing this with the rebirth energy too. It's sort of like, ah, like the aha moment. Some of you are having that. We do have, okay, so it could be clearing up of the mental state because we have, I'm tired. I'm so tired of dancing alone. Depression number 24. So of course the 24th is when we end this. So it could be a very powerful time at the end of the week for you guys to have some clarity and kind of have this self-realization. Your person doesn't want to be alone anymore. And maybe that's why it's like it's safe for me to love because I want to be with someone. I want now you're looking at marriage different or now you're looking at a higher level of a commitment differently. We have 17. I need to express myself balance and imbalances. So again, that rainbow here is like you're holding this little pocket of sunshine. Oh, I like that. This is a song, isn't it? It's a pocket full of sunshine. I don't know. I can't remember it now. Comment it if you do. It'd be really cool. Then we have karma number 38. What have we done? So I feel like someone needs to express themselves because they're learning forgiving is also here so this could be also like what have we caused where how do we get here again being depressed being alone so this person may have not said things and they need to say these things vice versa realizing they need to but i just want a loyal companion number 10 completion so 10 is very significant closing a cycles again keeping an open mind loyal companion it's more about the loyalty than it is about the looks for example or it could be about a few other things but Dalmatians could be significant. Maybe your person has a tattoo on their hand here. Uh, really cute. I love it. Or forehead kisses. Maybe you, your person get forehead kisses or the person has blonde hair. I don't know. However this relates here. And both the females have blonde hair there. So we have, we're going to look into the Gilded Tarot. Of course, members, don't forget, you can find the members down, links down below. If you're not members yet, then uh, they're $4.99. You get access to all the extendeds for the whole month. Uh, other readers charge that per video. So I'm just giving you access for everything. So if there's more videos or less videos at this point, no guarantees, but you're getting like, an extended regardless. So let's see what the messages are at the Gilded Tarot. And guys, thank you so much to all my members. Wow, that Ace of Cups just flew right out hello okay new cycle on love coming in for you guys that is beautiful again serious love real love self-love 
you've gone through this whole rebirth process so you're allowing yourself to have this new perspective and this cycle had to happen as well too perhaps that clarity you know i see maybe you now have a new understanding of what love means to you flirting putting yourself out there you know realizing what life there's more to life than what it has been for you and maybe now you're seeking this love or you're seeking and searching for a deeper meaning connection or wanting to establish more serious things and you're putting yourself out there maybe you're ready to love again and you're putting yourself ah i like when that happens okay <laughs> Who's at the bottom? Ooh, look at that. We got, so this could be an apology for some of you. Someone could be communicating because I saw the 10 of cups here too. So this could be very positive news coming in for you. Wish fulfillment. Again, beautiful um, situation with another 10 there. So again, this could be the person. Like this is again, wedding, someone you really want. So someone has a very big cup of love here for you. It could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could be dealing with another water sign. Um, can just signify that someone is opening up. Like clarity, I finally see the eye. They realize they love you or you realize you love them temperance i'm so tired of dancing alone depression like overcoming all that difficulty overcoming all that transformation transmuting that energy this is also sagittarius sagittarius season is what we're just shifting out of at the end of this week so a lot of transformation and major internal awareness here for many of you too like i said transmuting that energy which is 100 percent with like the rebirth where you're kind of blooming and as you're unveiling because this to me is like my sailor moon card in this deck as I'm throwing my stuff around here. For some of you, there's this need, I my stuff's very far. There's this need to kind of unravel, like blooming, however you want to word it. Cause like, to me, that's like that Sailor Moon scene where she transforms and like everything's like, you know, spinning around. A little cinematic for you. But there's a lot of stuff that's changing and transforming. And um, this is helping. And this person could be breaking out of this depression. They're just tired and they're realizing that really it's self inflicted. So forgiving and learning is sort of having this. So with the high priestess, I need to express myself. There's secrets, there's things I haven't said. Feeling guided could be Pisces energy. Again, moving forward to this, it's safe for you to love. It's safe for you to put yourself out there. The forgiving and learning is also like that higher knowledge. And I feel like for for many of you your dreams are very significant so please keep notes and, and make sure you write down what it is that you're thinking and seeing in your dreams very major transformation that's also where we get the divine downloads but this new moon that we just had on the 14th is a signifying period for you of elevation where you're, where you're rising and that's sort of where also Pisces rules the energies of visions and dreams and and so it's sort of like with your imagination here that creativity that that fantasy not necessarily fantasy I'm sorry the word I'm looking for is just what you're trying to create you know that as much as like you're having this you know your dreams in general of what it is like give yourself permission to dream give yourself to not limit yourself don't say you can't do it don't like you want to be something crazy famous and you know maybe you want to be a professional violin player do it because i'm seeing the violin maybe you your person playing the violin could be significant uh or they play an instrument here there's just a lot of stuff coming through and with the karma too it's sort of like you're breaking free from it too if there was a karmic cycle with your person it's not over and then we do have the page of wands so again this could be fire leo sagittarius and aries passionate communication someone could be coming towards you to offer that king of cups this could be you getting that emotional stability or of course this person is wanting to offer this and that's why i'm saying it's safe for you to love like you have this beautiful love this person has a very strong cup of love to offer to you um with the king though could be again another water sign if you're dealing with another scorpio cancer or a pisces but someone is communicating and it is messages it is a page here someone might also feel like the other person has left the connection or moved on from the connection healed away from it kind of like really having this self energy but perhaps both of you are you know in that in that separation because that karma needed to be served so you could both learn your higher purpose energy messages have this major evolution soul evolution could be definitely a mirroring with this beautiful vibe here and the death card came out and i was talking about that in the beginning where i felt the rebirth how it's like an ending and a new beginning had to happen so this just confirms the message from earlier but clearly showing you that there is major transformations you've both gone through this like i said like sailor moon 
<laughs> for many of you where you're evolving and when you come out you, you're like you come out a whole different person if you just look at this like you looked at what you had and then you just let go of everything and just allowed allowed things to be with this expression though this could be this person communicating like passionately how they care for you offering you this cup that we see here again something had to end for this to begin it could be a period again with this completion like i just realizing this and again with the keep an open mind it's like that change you know there's a lot of change here it's that awakening with the sun card could be dealing with a leo um but it's a beautiful positive transformation and it really is like a rebirth it's like you're going around the sun again a new cycle is about to begin for you scorpio Wow. Okay, guys, I love it. I hope these help with your current situations. Um, we're going to be exploring with the other tarot here as well, too, to see how your person feels towards you. So if this is where we say goodbye, then thank you so much for joining me. Please take one of my links as a thank you below. Um, for each link that you help activate with your information, my company donates meals, and our channel has donated almost 200 meals together. So thank you, thank you, thank you to your beautiful, beautiful hearts. And uh, our company has already donated over a million meals combined with all the other ambassadors. So thank you so much for continuing to assist us and please again check out magic mugs as well and if this is where we say goodbye then check out the other videos here on youtube maybe they can offer you more clarity to your current situations and as always stay safe god bless 11 light see you soon take care bye